yeah, humans are just a stage towards something better. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, maybe there's some sacrifices that we have to make mm -hmm. uh, and harden our hearts to do evil in the name of good. Mm -hmm. This is very much embodied in uh, the novel 1984, mm -hmm. where the, the party, the uh, originally, he, Orwell says um, that like the, the um, Bolsheviks, you know, the Nazis, they all said that they were um, seizing absolute power in order to bring about the good of man, mm -hmm. like, you know, a, a better society, a perfect society. Mm -hmm. So power was in their ideology, a temporary means to an end that would be relinquished once the, you know, socialist utopia was established. Mm -hmm. Uh, of course, they were kidding themselves, but what he and, and but the party in 1984 has dispensed with that justification and seeks power for its own end. Mm -hmm. But that is actually what always happens. Mm -hmm. uh, power starts as a means to an end, and eventually the end becomes more and more theoretical, mm -hmm. and the means becomes the end. Right. So that's what's happened today, and now usually it's still dressed up in language in pretty language about what we're really seeking here but actually it's just about power mm -hmm. but in the story of separation power is the key to everything as i said if you can control the position and of, of every proton neutron and electron mm -hmm. exactly then you are the master of the universe then you can eliminate all suffering like that is the holy grail mm -hmm. and and very few people actually put it, you know, in that, in that extreme, but that's the ideology. Like if, if you measure everything, then you can do science, then you can do engineering. If you, if you understand exactly how the weather works, then you can tweak the levels of different gases in the atmosphere and the, and you can, you know, increase the cloud cover, um, by spraying stuff out of jets, you know, and you can, you can, and, and, but see the thing that always happens is unintended consequences. Mm -hmm. The program of control never works. It never works. It always generates more chaos that then requires even more control. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, you spray your field with Roundup and you get Roundup resistant weeds and you spray those with something else. And then you get a, you know, uh, the mycelium all dies and you get some other thing and then you have to spray something for that and you spray something for that. And it always seems that it's just one more technology away. You're finally going to solve the problem. Right. Your, your vaccine doesn't work. There's variants. Well, we'll get a booster for those. Mm -hmm. We'll have a new multivalent vaccine for those. And then people are going to get all kinds of autoimmune diseases, but we're going to control the autoimmune diseases because we're going to do gene therapy on that. And then that's going to cause some other problem. And it's the same mentality. Right. And this is part of why I don't believe that every single event is orchestrated by a conspiratorial power, because chaos is a stronger force than control. Mm 